this you just love these <clears throat> three two one hey capricorn it's a girly aunt aka lola laugh off and love always i'm your goddess guide to deep in the rhythm and deep soul transformation damn it i went to the old one <laughs> okay three two one hey capricorn welcome to Alma beauty tarot it's your girl lola goddess guide to deep in the rhythm and deep soul transformation that is the Alma and the beauty and the holy spirit and magic and welcome to Alma beauty tarot we're going to get directly into the reading we are going to call in Holy Spirit and ask Holy Spirit to join us in this reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And my Cap, I'm a Cap Moon, so I know this reading is going to be interesting because I'm a Cap Moon. And I always start with Aunt Gemini and end with Capricorn, which is so interesting when I do my readings. So it's like pretty nice. So, um, Holy Spirit, we ask that you show up for Capricorn to bring you a message that they can receive, that we can receive. That'll be make a lot of sense. Already starting out. Wow, two cards popped out. All right, Cap. Well, well, well. Okay. We need to leap and the net will appear, okay? And you have the ability and the skill set to create whatever it is you're trying to create. The abundance is yours to create, so create it. You have the capacity, you have the ability, you have all the things that you need and you need to use to create what you have in your storehouse. Your storehouse is full, okay? What else do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Take those two. Oh, you guys are giving twos. Two first. All right. You need Capricorn, you need to let go of any feeling of grief or despair, any thoughts of lack or scarcity, you need to let them go. Let them go right now in order for you to create. Because listen, the emperor shows up and you got that energy, the emperor energy. Actually. I'm going to just read that. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to look this up. Do, 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 do. Structure. You have that big D energy. You have that beautiful energy to be able to structure your life, to bring in that energy of a father figure. You being because tarot has no sex, so tarot is genderless. You have the energy that you can bring in this image of father figure for self. Okay, you need to let go of this, uh, the scarce and lack and scarcity. You need to know that you have the ability. You have all the things in your storehouse. Your storehouse is full. Come on, Cap. What else do you need to know? You need, you need some more cards. You need some more cards for Cap. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We need more cards for Cap. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, we'll take that card. Boom. Stand in your power. Stand in your light. Make sure that you're also creating healthy and happy boundaries in what it is that you're creating. Make sure that you're moving through the face of adversity, that you're standing strong even in the face of adversity. Move forward. You know, stand stand up for your st yourself. Stand up for what is right in the world. The decision that is before you, you've covered your eyes to it, or you feel like you're in some kind of crazy situation ship where you need to make a choice or decision. You've got to go left or right or up or down. Um, and your eyes are not covered. You do see the truth about which way to go. You have the ability to step into that emperor energy, to step into that structured being able to break down a maybe you need to make a list of, of uh, pros and cons list okay and that pros and cons list will help you to make the correct choice if the if the if the cons outweigh the pros then you got to be like you cut from the team okay one two all right, we got three cards. Okay, nine of swords. You're feeling this a deep sense of grief right now, Capricorn. Um, and it could just be that it's time for you to move out of the energy of grief and into the energy of positivity. And of course, it's like easier said than done at times, but there's some grief going on for you this week. And I think that you need to take a little time for yourself to go deeply inside so that you can look for that light that is inside of you, Capricorn. The light shines so bright in you. So go inside to find the you that is the shiny portion of you so that this 
this feeling of, of grief and sadness, this feeling of, of not being able to make a choice or decision or seeing two options and not being able to choose because you have grief about it. You know, you, you can't, <laughs> three of pentacles, you can't have the outcome that you desire to have. Three of pentacles is like, know your worth. You can't know your worth if you're questioning which way, what you're questioning your worth and someone else's. You have to really know your worth. You have to be set in your emotional capacity to, to really succeed. You have to know your worth because you know, you have the ability, you have the capability, you have the capability. Boom. Okay. What we got here. Well, there is some movement going to happen. So wherever you're at, whatever the situation is that you can't make it, you have to choose on movement is going to happen in that. You're going to move forward in that choice and decision, or you're going to move out of that choice and decision. You're going to remove yourself from making this choice or decision. And you should, and you need to remove yourself from the energy of this sadness of this grief. Okay. And you need to move yourself into your hermit space where you can really do some internal work. So movement is going to happen. Temperance shows up to tell you it's time to be balanced in yourself, be balanced in your energy, be balanced in your mind. That's what I'm hearing. Temperance is like, you got to get your mental state correct because your mental state is all over the place, especially because you have the nine of swords showing up, that grief showing up. You have the two of swords showing up. You can't make choices and decisions. You feel like your eyes are being closed, but behind you is this, is this, is this space, this wide open space and the birds and the thoughts in your head are pecking at you, pecking at you. You got to make a choice. You keep looking too much five of cuts at what you don't have and what you're losing instead of looking at what you do have. When you need to go deeply inside of yourself because it's really time, temperance is saying you need to find the bound. So go inside. Know what your worth is because you're about to move. Moving is happening whether you like it or not. There's going to be a choice and decision. But so you need to stand in your light, Capricorn. You need to stand in your strength and in your power. The emperor shows up to let you know that you need to stand in that. But you need to structure yourself a little bit more so that you can utilize this nine of pentacles. You have what you need, energy, and that you can leap so the net will appear. Temperance showed up to tell you that. A bottom of the deck, hangman. Can't make this up. It is time for the new beginning. It's time to let go. It's time to be in the space of being just who you are and loving just who you are. Hangman shows up to let you know. Don't martyr yourself. Don't try to make your don't try to make yourself to appear the martyr or bigger than. Just, just hang out. And really just find enlightenment and find the chill space. That's what I'm here. Capricorn, find the chill space. I'm telling myself too. Find the chill space. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Please make sure to watch your sun, moon rising for a full picture of what's going on. Capricorn, this was a good reading actually. I mean, it resonated with me. And I, I mean, and I'm a Capricorn moon. So, um, you know, make sure to comment, like, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to ring the bell so that you know that I'm coming to give you another read. You're a perfect whole and complete and a radiant point of light. And I'm blessed by your present Capricorn as a Capricorn from one cap to another. I salute you. I say, come on, listen, we got, we got, we're very analytical. So we be trying to think our way out of stuff. And sometimes you just need to have action. So good luck, Cap. May the, may the force be with you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>